I let my job and about a customer. You know, they are nice, friendly. You know, then they come back because when you work for them, you just they nice, you know, they like you when you do good job. They happy, you happy, and they, yeah, and they come back to see you again. Then, you know, we gradually become a friend. I just like friend, you know, the old friend, and then I feel happy anytime I see them. You know, yeah, we, you know, I feel meet them, you know. That's what the most, you know, I make me happy with my child. I cut them up. In California alone, there are about 115,000 manicurists. The majority are women um, and of Vietnamese descent. Many of them are recent immigrants. Um, and they're here. This is, you know, nail salon industry. That's their economic cornerstone. As uh, an immigrant with limited English, I knew uh, that job opportunities for me uh, were scarce. So I accepted the job as the way of making, of uh, living a living. Mình tự control cái smell của mình. So when his wife came here, um, he said that she's an excellent worker, so he thinks that together with both of them they can open a store and that way they can control their own schedule and even the smell of the shop too. So they like it there that way. And this is how they were able to you know, build a life in the United States. Um, they're family-owned businesses, um, you know, workers and the owners are often related, you know, um, husband-wife teams. Um, you know, sisters, uh, so it's very interconnected. Years ago, when I first came to this country, my sponsor took me to a nail salon. My um, sister-in-law um, was really sick, and uh, I told her, you know, from your job, and then she said, nope. So sure enough, um, after um, se several tests, the doctor ordered her to close the visit. <coughs> after 17 years only in a nail salon because um, the fume and the toxin had get, get into her blood and, and it causing her to faint. And even today she no longer work, but somehow they couldn't find out exactly what happened, but I noticed that her body shrinking. When I was at a salon, I felt uncomfortable with breathing and um, the um, irritation on my skin and sometimes I felt the dizziness. When I did not uh, go to work, um, I felt much better. Um, I wonder back then but I had no clue and I didn't even talk to nobody because um, I had no idea. Um, another sister-in-law that lost the baby while working, so she's eight and a half months pregnant and indeed she noticed that the baby no longer kicking and then she went in the doctor and the baby is gone. Uh, năm 1992, khi mà tôi làm được 2 năm thì tôi đi khám bác sĩ thì tôi được biết là tôi bị bú cổ và bị xỉn như là bệnh phổi và bác sĩ đã cho tôi thuốc uống về bị phổi 9 tháng. In 2002, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I had a mastectomy surgery. Well, I think um, probably you can say that every Vietnamese person probably is connected one way or another to a nail salon worker or a cosmetologist. So my mom was actually a cosmetologist and passed away from cancer. And I think the, the workforce itself is very similar. What's a typical work day? It ranges. Some people are working part-time, so it'll be 20 hours. We have people working as many as 80 hours a week. And you decide, uh, I have uh, a sister who has, um, uh, who is a ma uh, manicurist also, and uh, she has um, many lumps on her breast, 
but she was scared, you know, to go to see the doctor because she she scared to be diagnosed that she had breast, breast cancer. That's why she refused to see the doctor. The first every morning I am get up. No, then I rush, go to nail, <laughs> soap and working. Yeah, sometimes it's busy, so we just keep it working, working. When that happened, it's peak hours. Um, everything goes on. All kind of chemical being used at once. Um, the um, nail polish, the acetone remover, um, hairspray, bleach, bleaching hair, um, and all going and inside the closed door and all other chemical I cannot name. I was very sick one time and um, I went to see my uh, primary care. She sent me to um, the x-ray department and when the um, x-ray technician um, looked at the uh, um, x-ray and asked me the question if I'd been smoking for a long time. Uh, I was shocked. I don't smoke. I could think of the chemical that uh, we inhale every day at the salon, sometimes eight to 10 hours per day. And a week about either five or six, sometimes seven days, which is uh, freely inhale without understand and knowing. Mm. Uh, then I have some concern, you know, because uh, I've been working there, so I know how they feel. So I saw some of my friends, they have a little cancer because she used to work for, for you know, the first nail. So she used because when we work and we, we just looking down, you know, and some, you know, chemical strong. Sometimes, you know, can make it little skin, get in the dark. I can maybe get chemical heart attack, I got had some skin cancer. No. She had some, I don't know, she said she had a skin cancer in her friend. But I didn't think, you know, that the cut, that problem. But I realized maybe that. See, that's because, you know, skin cancer in here. Because we didn't think it. But I think, you know, yeah, maybe some you know, chemical can, you know, damage the health. We have all these chemicals on the market. We don't have sufficient testing before they're marketed. So we're constantly discovering, oh my goodness, we've been using this and it causes cancer. One of the big ones is formaldehyde, which is used as a disinfectant a lot in this group. Um, so that's been one of the three that they've nicknamed the toxic trio. Formaldehyde is really important because formaldehyde is in, you know, it's in a lot of things. It's of concern for two reasons. It causes cancer and it causes asthma. Formaldehyde is one of the chemicals that is regulated in the workplace as an occupational carcinogen. That means that known to cause cancer or accepted to cause cancer in workers when you're exposed. Another one is toluene, and that's uh, used a lot in nail polishes. When you inhale them, they affect your brain and because the brain is very fatty, even with small amounts, if you use it over a long period of time and you know, over every day you're exposed to it, it affects short-term memory, your ability to learn. So um, it's of real concern and that we have data to show it in workers. The other thing we're worried about with toluene, it's, it, it's fetotoxic, it's toxic to the developing fetus. The third one is phthalates. Um, that's what's used um, sort of as a plasticizer and it's used in uh, nail polish a lot. That one, there's been a lot of links to reproductive outcomes. We're looking at each one of them one by one, but no one's ever looking at the synergistic effects or the added effects when the, all of them are combined. And that's been the big concern when it comes to this workforce. 